We're here with Richard Atwood at the Auto Legends. How are you this morning? Very nice. I think that the weather will make a big difference here to this event because it is basically outside. We've got a lot of cars here. Some of them are convertible, so if it rains it would not be good. But uh, it's the first of many events that will be a, become an annual event, I'm sure. And it's bringing the event to the people, which really has made it a success, I think, because a lot of uh, people just live around the corner here. So it's very easy to get to. Definitely, absolutely. Now, Richard is an ex Le Mans driver. So, Richard, tell us about uh, your experience, a little bit about your history. Hmm. Well, I, I did only nine um, uh, Le Mans races, so uh, to actually win it out of that lot was quite good, I think. Um, so, you are a champion. Well, I was that year. 1970 was the first year Porsche won it, and um, and, the, and, the, and the theme around this this event really is that year yeah. because at the same time, uh, uh, Steve McQueen made the Le Mans film, which was around the cars that we were driving, which were the 917 Porsches and the 512 Ferraris, and it was where Porsche were quite dominant over Ferrari at that time, and I think it was a really evocative time for Le Mans having the two biggest manufacturers for the Le Mans Challenge to be at it, you know, at the same time. It was, it was a good era. And you had a little starring role in uh, the film with Steve McQueen? Yes, I was helping out a lot in that film because I was retiring the following year, so I hadn't got a career to pursue. So I could spend more time at Le Mans uh, doing the filming with, with Steve McQueen. And um, I did drive the camera car a lot, the 917 camera car, which, as it happens, I bought a 917 about seven years later, in 1978, and unbelievably, I bought it not knowing the history of the car, but it was actually that car <laughs> that I actually bought. Really? And I owned it for 23 years. Yeah. Blimey. Yeah. That's a small world. It can be. <laughs> what are you doing with yourself these days? Are you retired? Are you still involved? Um, I don't want to retire. I don't plan to retire just at the moment. I work, do a lot of work for Porsche Cars Great Britain up at Silverstone, their okay. new uh, driving centre there. And anybody who buys a new Porsche today, they have the opportunity to come and drive for half a day with somebody like myself. Oh, wonderful. To uh, find out about the car for them. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. That's really good. So that's what I do. Uh, Steve McQueen was, um, was a very uh, a charismatic guy. He was a man's man as well as being a girl's man. <laughs> uh, but, uh, and he was also an exceptionally good driver. I think if he'd chosen to not go into movies and be a, a race, make a race career, he would actually have done very well. He won the um, Sebring uh, 12 hours race in America with Peter Revson in the same year, actually. I think it was 1970. I think it was. And um, so he, we, we knew he was good. So when you've got a film star who's not just a film star, but he actually drives cars and drives them well, you, you have some respect there that, that, that goes backwards and forwards. And it worked really well with Steve. He was a great character. Fantastic. Richard, thank you ever so much for joining us on FGear TV. Okay, thank, thank you very you. much. Okay, bye.